Welcome to the book reading program of 3ABN Australia Radio. Does your faith need a boost? Do you think that miracles only happened in Bible times? Think again. Compiled by Remnant Publications, the book Get Ready for a Miracle recounts true stories that prove that when we step out in faith, God displays His power in undeniable ways. Here is our reader, Sandra Ashton. This story is entitled, Divine Appointment. Acts chapter 8, verse 26 to 40 says, Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise, and go towards the south, along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. So he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasury and had come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning. And sitting in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake his chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he asked Philip to come up and sit with him. The place in the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearers is silent. So he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his justice was taken away. And who will declare his generation? for his life is taken from the earth. So the eunuch answered Philip and said, I ask you, of whom does the prophet say this, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture, preached Jesus to him. Now as they went down the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What hinders me from being baptised? Then Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still, and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and he baptised him. Now when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away, so that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found in Azotus, and passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. One day I had been canvassing a neighbourhood of condominiums. I didn't get to finish them before the day was over, so I kept begging my leader, Lucas, Will you take me back to finish those condominiums? I want to finish them. I need to finish them. Normally, I was happy working wherever the leader decided to put me, but for some reason, I really wanted to go back and finish that particular area. Finally, a few days later, I guess Lucas got tired of my pestering him, so he took me back. At one door, I met a woman and began showing her the books. She told me, My husband is in the military. I am really worried about him. He is where all the bombs are going off. I am always afraid for him. Then she started crying. I have been praying, she sobbed, that God would send me some sign that he still cares about me, that he still loves me, and that he is in control. And then you showed up at my door. Wow, I responded. The crazy thing is that I was in this area a few days ago, but I didn't make it to your house. For some reason, I really wanted to finish this neighbourhood, and that's why I'm back. The woman looked at me and said, You know what? If you had come by my door a few days ago, I would not have been here. I just came in yesterday. And if you were to come by tomorrow, I would not be here either because I'm leaving again. Praise God was all I could say. 
I know that God sent me to this woman's door at that exact moment. He knew I had to be there on that particular day and he set our meeting up perfectly to show her that he does care and he is in control. A reflection associated with this story comes from the Acts of the Apostles, page 109. An angel guided Philip to the one who was seeking for light and who was ready to receive the gospel. And today, angels will guide the footsteps of those workers who will allow the Holy Spirit to sanctify their tongues and refine and ennoble their hearts. The angel sent to Philip could himself have done the work for the Ethiopian, but this is not God's way of working. It is his plan that men are to work for their fellow men. Divine Appointment was written by Danielle Simmons, who is a student literature evangelist from Kentucky. She is a junior at Washita Hills College in Amity, Arkansas, and is considering a career in elementary or secondary education. You've been listening to the book reading program by 3ABN Australia Radio, featuring Get Ready for a Miracle. For more information about this book, visit remnantpublications.com. Remnant.